All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, just had something come across my channel or, or my feed I wanted to share with you guys on the eclipse coming from Mark Biltz. Um, I think you guys will find this very interesting. He's coming with some facts that I didn't really realize about this eclipse um, season. Watch this. This is amazing. How many total solar eclipses have been over the United States since we became a nation in 1776? Anybody know? I will tell you. Eight. Here's when they occurred. We had two in the 1700s. Eighty years later, we had three in the 1800s. Ninety-two years later, we had two in the 1900s. We're now in the year two, the millennium or whatever, 2000 or the century. If you see, there's only seven there. When was the eighth one? It's in this century. 38 years later, on August 21st, which was the great American eclipse that went from Oregon all the way down through the Carolinas. Everyone remember that? Okay, here's what's significant. That was the eighth one, and eight always speaks of new beginnings, okay? It's the first year of a new Shemitah cycle, and the ninth year would be the second year. But get a load of this. Solar eclipses always refer to the nations, judgment on a nation. A lunar eclipse always refers to judgment toward Israel. This is a solar eclipse, and it is the very first total solar eclipse ecl exclusively to the United States since before the nation's founding in 1776. The one that happened in 2017 was the one and only in our history total solar eclipse that only hit the United States. It didn't hit Mexico. It didn't hit Canada. We were the only country. What that means, God put a target on our nation. We're going to be judged. Now, watch this. You guys, you know what happened in those times? Uh, he brings, I'm going to bring a little bit more uh, about the, the planet Pluto moving into Aquarius and when the last time this happened, which coincides with this. Um, I think you'll find very fascinating. There's a reoccurring theme here. April 8th of 2024, this next spring, is the ninth solar eclipse to go over America. Now, let's go back and uh, also realize April 8th is Nissan 1, which is very significant. So let's look at patterns. The two solar eclipses that happened in the 1700s, what was going on at that time? The Revolutionary War. The three Solar eclipses that happened in the 1800s, what was going on? The American Civil War. You see a pattern? Do you see a pattern here? What did I tell you about the, the eclipse and the meaning of it for April 21st, 2017? War and a pandemic. One of those things happened. Look what's on deck. So, there was the American Revolutionary War and the American Civil War, and in both times, um it was in this country so within the compounds of uh, the united states war on the inside what does that tell you war is coming to the shores of america okay fought in the united states that's the pattern here during the 70s what was going on the vietnam war Okay, so August 21st, 2017, which is exactly seven years before this one in April, will there be war? That's been the pattern. But the next one isn't until 2044, the next solar eclipse. So I really believe that we're headed for interesting times because this is the ninth eclipse, and nine is the last of the single digits, and thus marks the end it's significant of the conclusion of a matter. It's a number of finality or judgment. And it looks like war. Okay. <clears throat> That's another witness, you guys. <laughs> and it just, just came across my feed, and I happened to see that. What an amazing um, another witness to this. Let's, let's see what else he has to say. Let's go back to our notes a minute. 
I'm going to put this up on the screen too. Numbers 1, we're going to look at verses 1 through 3. They're done traveling or sitting at the mountain for a year. They're, it's time to go to war and get the promised land. Numbers 1, 1 through 3, the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness, in the tabernacle, on the first day of the second month. Whenever you're reading the Bible and you hear the first day of the month, you think of new moon. There's always a new moon on the first month. You also think of blowing the shofar because they blow the shofar on the new moon, but they also, also blow the shofar when they're about to go to war. Both are happening at this time. In the second year, after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel from 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go what? To war. All that are able to go to war in Israel, you shall number them by their armies. If you're going to go to war, you better get organized. And so I got that for you to, to consider. Shalom to you. See you in the next video.